Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we'll do another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So before we begin, obviously I want to just start off with the usual um, stuff, so obviously thanks to everyone who subscribed as normal because we are already getting close to halfway to 2,900, I think we're about 2,830 right now, so yeah just a massive huge thanks to everyone who subscribed, left like and all that good stuff because it means a lot, it's awesome, you guys are the best fans in the world I guess, so yeah massive massive thanks to you guys, you're awesome. So I just want to get out of the way. Let's continue and try and get that goal of 3,000 before the month ends. Because I really, really think we can do it. So, yeah, it should be pretty, um, should be pretty interesting to see what the future has for us, I guess. So, yeah, um, that's for, so, um, yeah, next thing um, I just want to mention as well um, for this series, um, like I say, every episode now, if you've ever got a solar system to send in and you do send it in and I never get around to doing it, please re, um, or please send a new link on the newer video just so I can see it. Because it's quite hard to keep up to date with all of the comments and all of the, um, um, links for your guys' systems, so it is very hard to keep up with, so just apologies if I don't get around to doing certain people's systems, but honestly I try my best, there's very, quite a lot to get through, so yeah, please don't hate me for that, So I guess, so yeah, but don't hate me please, and, and, and then last off as well, if you don't know um, how to send in a system, literally just upload it somewhere and send me a link to somewhere I can download it. Right, anyways, um, that is that all out of the way. So yeah, today we're going to be checking out a system from Shipbuilder47. So it's called the Felor system. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. And also I'll leave a link to his um his channel in the description like I always do. And let's begin. So I believe this has two special... um, What's it? I think it says two special planets with cities in it. So this could be quite interesting. It looks like there's a modded planet there with the trail colour. So that would be interesting to see. Okay, so... Let's ask again. Let me just also read the comments to see if there's anything else. I oh, know it literally just says this is a fantasy system, or fantasy system, sorry, and it has two planets with cities. Okay, interesting. All right, anyways, let's begin. So the first star here, looking, that is an exact replica of the sun. I can tell by the stats. We don't even need to compare it to the sun, since it is the sun. Right, so yeah, we've got Felor Prime here. So that's our um, center star. So there we are. And let's just see how big this system is. Let's see what we got in here. So. There it is there. Okay, that's it. So not the largest system, not the smallest. So, right, let's begin. So the first planet here. Ooh, I'm really liking the colour on this already. And that's a colour I don't think I have for my modded objects, actually. That's a very, very sort of special hot pink colour, actually. That is a very, very nice colour. I may actually um, use this as a template in my um, custom, um, or custom planet builder, if you don't mind. Because that red, or that pink, sorry... Oh, that does look like a nice colour. And that is definitely modded. That is no way that's a normal spawn. So, very, very nice um, colour choice there. I definitely like that. And also, with the land as well, I think the pink goes really well. Like the, With the water as well. Just look at look how the water changes colour like, at the corner or the edges of the screen there. That's, that's really cool. I really like the pink atmosphere on this guy. That looks awesome. Then you've got, obviously got the clouds as well, uh, which also look really cool. So, very, very nice. I really do like that. It's got a 78.92 date, so that, yeah, this takes a while to turn around, so that's why it's not turning. Um, 10 degrees, so this would be somewhere I'd like to stay, not too hot, not too cold, because right now in um, England it's actually very hot for a change, very, very surprising. Like, I can't believe it, the Britishness has gone away for a bit, I guess, since usually it's raining and cloudy here, but not today. Right, anyways, back onto this, so, yeah, I really do like the mix with the pink and the brownish sort of um, coloured surface there, that looks really, really cool. So, there we go. There is the first planet of Theras, I believe is how you say that. And also, if I say any of these wrong, I'm, I, I'm, I am I'm apologise, but yeah, I'm not very good at pronouncing these things. Alright, anyways, next up we have Gareth, I believe that is. And here's our first planet with city lights. So, very nice indeed. Yes, here's our first planet, city lights. And it looks like it's got a modded pink atmosphere as well. It's quite similar to my light pink templates. We'll just get a quick comparison with that. Yes, yeah, a light pink here. It looks very similar to that, but it could be slightly different. So... Yeah, it looks more of a darker sort of light pink, because this is a very, very light pink. It is, this isn't white, but it's a very, very light pink. And then we will see here we've got a sort of more pinkish, but still a light pink colour, because that's a very, very light pink. But yeah, we've got a different sort of pink. So yeah, I'm liking the usage of modded objects here. That's very nice. So let's get rid of that one again. Yeah, so hit Gareth. That's, um, let's check the stats here. So a little smaller than Earth in mass and radius, as you can see there. Let's just get a quick look there. So there's the um, stats there. And actually, um, before we continue that, I just want to check the stats on the first planet again. So Ferris here. So how far away is this from the start? So AU. So it's 0 0.2 AU. So it's quite close. Probably around Mercury distance, maybe. I'm not sure on that, but similar to that, probably. 
Okay, so let's see here. So 97 Earth similarity. That is a, that's probably the highest Earth similarity we've seen in an object in this series so far. I don't think any objects I've seen in this series have had a 97 Earth similarity. So that's the highest I think I've seen. So, you guys, here's a challenge here. Let's try and get 99 or 100 on this stat, if it's possible. And then the life right code is 3.93. I'm guessing it's like that because it's quite close to the star. So that means that the stat gets lowered, but it still has a very high Earth similarity. Very nice job on that, because that is a very high number. It's obviously got a magnetic field you can see here as well. So, yeah, there we go. There's that. And it is slightly larger than Earth in um, radius and mass, as you can see. So there is that. All right, anyways, I'm back onto this planet now. So Gareth again. So it takes 149 days, so it takes a while for this guy to turn around as well. Um, let's check its stats here. So it's got 97.3 Earth similarity. This is even higher than the other one, so very, very nice job. It's also got the magnetic field as well there. Very cool. Definitely liking the usage of um, the magnetic fields of these guys. And it's going for an orange and pink sort of theme as well, as you can see there. So very, very nice um, use of colours. Definitely, um, definitely like that. It's only 5 degrees here, so a little more chilly here. So um, let's see there. It reflects 50% of light. There's its atmosphere stats. And composition, so obviously the usual sort of more silicate than iron, then a tiny little bit of water on it. So, yeah, there is Gareth. So, let's see here. Okay, so we've got a moon now. Same, so we've got Gareth or Gorf of Gareth 1. So, similar to its parent planet, actually, it looks like a Mars atmosphere, but it actually isn't. Okay, so there's no, there's no climate stat here, so this definitely was not Mars, but a very, very close um, color to Mars, that atmosphere there. So, um, pretty cool there. Not just going with the pink, and then the sort of. Um, white sort of more of a white glacier almost sort of look to it and this one also has city light so we've got two city light objects in the same or in the same area here so we've got planet and then it's moon so yeah this is probably like the um the center of this or like probably where the main sort of um populated area is in the system i guess um since there's a moon and a planet so this is probably the very highly developed um system with all these buildings and stuff like that so yeah pr pretty cool stuff so yeah, there is Gareth, and then there's its moon, Gareth, or Gorf of Gareth 1. So, 21 degrees. This moon's actually more, it's actually a little warmer, so probably a vacation spot for the um, people living on there, I guess. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff there. It's um, only 91,000 kilometers away, so it's a lot closer than the moon is to Earth. There's its um, atmosphere stats. Um, this has a lot of iron on it, though, so there's that. And it's got a 74.9 Earth similarity, so pretty, pretty cool stuff there. I like that. So, there is that. Okay, let's see what we've got next. So next up we have um, Fellow here. So this is the green one, as we saw from the trail when we loaded in. So, right, here is Fellow. Oh, and I'm liking the green as well. Slightly different to my mon, I think. Let's just get a comparison. I actually want to see this. Is it slightly different? Let's just compare it to the green lights one, um, the custom template here. Okay, the green on mine does look slightly different. I think this is more of a almost a little more lime in it, maybe. Maybe a little more lime green than this. Yeah, but I think my one is slightly different, but yeah, very, very close indeed with the um, colour mix there, so pretty cool stuff there. So yeah, it's got Fellow here, with also the city lights as well, so very cool, 15 degrees, okay, that's um, a reasonable temperature, uh, materials, so it's got that, and then Earth similarities 92 here, so very high Earth similarities in this system. Um, and there's the rest of its stats, so it's definitely it's a little larger than Earth, as you can see there as well. So there is Fellow. Then now we've got Fulor. So this is a close moon. I'm guessing it's um being warmed up by tidal heating since it is quite excuse me there, it is quite close to the parent planet as you can see. So pretty cool stuff there. And yeah, it's burning up here, so yeah. We will not be able to survive here. Because it is very, very hot. So yeah, it's got a very high ATM as well, so that's um definitely a not nice place to be, but it's, maybe it's like um sort of meant to be based off a volcanic moon, maybe. I don't know. It's either a rouge limit or it's just because of the atmosphere, but maybe maybe it's meant to imply there's volcanoes here. I don't know. So that is that. Then next up we've got Faroth Fellow One. So this is a moon, also going with the green atmosphere as well. The atmosphere colour is looks slightly different to that as well. Maybe actually I don't know. So yeah, it's got um, the green atmosphere, then it's going with a brownish sort of green sort of colour below as well. So let's just quickly turn that all off so we can get a look. Oh wait, oh. Oh wow, this is bugged out. Look, we can't we can't see the um these options don't do anything on the actual thing here. They don't work on this one. Well they see they work on that one. That's very strange. Look at that. So on this guy, we can't on that oh now it works. Okay, that's that's very pretty really mysterious little bug there. So that is that. So yeah, this is what it looks like below. So it's going kind of a brownish sort of rocky sort of look to it. Oh now the colours have changed. Oh, was the object sort of 
glitch. Oh, maybe I was, was I looking at the wrong object the whole time? Oh, I'm a little silly, aren't I? So, yeah, there's Feral 1. So, there we go. Um, little, little, um, actually, little larger than Mercury, I think. Oh, no, no, a little smaller than Mercury. Mercury's, um, 2400. This is 2200. Alright, there is that. And then next up, we've got, um, Feroff, which is Felor 2, so. And this was Mercury, as you can clearly see. So, it's got Mercury with a modded green atmosphere. Very nice. So, as you can see, yeah, this is Mercury with water on it. So, very, very cool. I really like the, um, modded, um, atmosphere of it. Mercury looks quite cool with that, actually. And it's also got city lights. Oh, wow, there's been some serious game modded going into this. We've a modded planet, or one of the normal planets, one of the um, one of the custom textured planets, as you can see here, with a green modded atmosphere, and it has city lights. That has got some very intense modding going on in it. Very, very nice. So, um, yeah, fell or two. It's just a Mercury there with the city lights. I really do like that one. So, then we've got fourth. Oh, God, let me, let me go to it. So, this one is called fourth, and it's called... Um, Fellow Minor Moon, so it's a very, it's a lot smaller than the other two. Very, very um, a lot hotter here than the previous objects we've seen in this part of these systems. So this would definitely be a vacation spot for people who um, I guess live on these objects here. So very, very cool. So there is that. So 31 degrees. Oh, oh that's hot. So there we go. And, and there's not many lands. It sort of reminds me of the Maldives, but on a larger, much larger scale there. But yeah, these islands are probably quite large. So. There is that. Yeah, definitely larger than the poor little old UK, I have to say. So, yes, yeah, must be larger than that. So, yeah, here's a good look of the whole body. So, yeah, it's mostly um, water, as you can see here. So, very, very nice. Let's check its materials. So, 74 on the Earth similarity. Quite a little good job for quite a small little moon there. So, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of Earth similarity stats very high in here. So, yeah, there's all of the fellow system there. Definitely liking the green atmosphere colours. And then next up, we've got... Um, Bestoff, I believe they say, and here's a gas giant, so it's going with a grey sort of um, colour with a sort of orange at the south there. It's got 286 Earth mass, it's a little less than one Jupiter mass, but the radius is definitely a lot bigger than Jupiter, as you can see, 1.57, so it's about three times um, bigger in radius there, so pretty cool. Obviously it's cold here since it's a gas giant, mostly hydrogen, obviously the Earth's mass will be low, but it has a magnetic field as well, so pretty cool. And yeah, I believe that is everything for this system, guys. So actually, before we um finish up, I just want to go back here and check the um, magnetic fields. Yeah, let's just quickly turn them all on, see if we've got anything. Okay, this one doesn't even have one. Uh, this guy here also has one. So look at all these magnetic fields going on. This is probably the most magnetic fields we've seen in a um, simulation here. Although no, that one there doesn't have one, though. But yeah, there's a lot of magnetic fields going on here. So very, very nice little um, add-ons there. So pretty cool indeed and then obviously these guys back here they also have magnetic they also have magnetic fields as well so pretty cool stuff so overall although the system was quite small and um well it wasn't a small list but it was, it was reasonably small so yeah although it was quite small there's definitely um definitely a lot of cool looking objects in here oh it's gonna be very hard to pick a favorite um for me like oh it's a very hard choice i do not know what to pick as my favorite because i really do like that hot pink modded color i may actually use that like i said for um the custom object series um as a new template for pink or another new template for pink just add it to the color list because that hot pink does look pretty cool so, yeah look at that i really do like that but the green one also does look pretty good and i'll see the moons down here as well here we have um, a slightly different green you can see this green i think is slightly different to this green here I think that's a lot, I think this is um, more of a pure green, I think this may be more of a turquoise sort of green, it's very very different, I think this may have a little bit of blue in the colour mixing, maybe, I don't, I don't know, Cause it's quite hard to spot, because obviously because this has got more water on it as well, it does make it slightly hard, actually they may be the same, I think they're the same, oh, they are the same, okay, sorry about that, yeah, yeah they're the same, if we just, um, look, if you look at the atmosphere colour very carefully, it does not change when I switch objects, so I'm guessing it's the same with this guy, is it, um, oh god, whoops, so I believe, yeah, I think they are the same, yeah, the atmosphere colours all the same. Okay, ignore what I said back then. Yeah, so all these greens are exactly the same. It's just the, the different surface features and colours. It does sort of make it a little more confusing. So, yeah, there is that. And obviously, yeah, this, these are pretty cool. So, yeah, definitely a good work on the modded objects, because I definitely do like them. But, oh, it's a very hard to pick a favourite. It's definitely between these two here. I really do like that hot pink. I think that's a very, very cool colour with it. So, oh, I don't know. I do like the green, though. But... I think I'm going to go with this for my favourite object in the system. That is a very, very nice colour indeed. I really do like that. So, yeah, there's um, obviously a whole comparison of the system here. So we've got our sun-like object. And we've got our extremely large gas giant as well. 
Um, I don't think it's um, the largest thing ever, but um, yeah, there's it compared to Jupiter. Then we'll compare it to the largest exoplanet as well. So let's get it. Where, whereabouts are you? There you are. So not the biggest, not the smallest, as you can see here. So there is the largest exoplanet. So overall, though, I really do like this system. So there we are. Right, so let's just get a quick um, lineup as well. So we'll go on flashlight mode to get a real good look here. Actually, let's go studio. I think that'll look a little cooler. So, yeah, so we've got our star, we've got our gas giant, then we've got the really nice um, green and pink ones here. Then obviously, we've got more of the um, modded colors, a lighter pink. We've got another green, the green mercury. That's also very cool. Here we've got a, um, the, one of the normal blue colors. Also, you've got another green. Then we've got another sort of pale pink color. And then we've got the very, very hot little moon here. So. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, um, definitely a thumbs up from me on this one. This is this is a very nice system indeed. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So yeah, if you um liked it, make sure you leave a like below and also um share any thoughts you have with this system in the comments. I'm pretty sure um Shipbuilder47 will be happy to um see what you think of his system and of that these modded colours because I really do like that purple or that pink, sorry, that hot pink. That is a very, very nice colour. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure he'll be interested to hear your thoughts on the system. So yeah, please leave them down below. And yeah, if you haven't already subscribed if you new helps on the journey to three thousand subscribers before the month ends because that'd be amazing. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.